Welcome to another episode of Raising to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we are taking a look at one of the projects, or rather two of the projects that we haven't had an episode on in quite some time. You guys might remember Project Revo 2.5. We'll include the links to the entire playlist below. But um, this truck was a hoot, blast to drive, brushless conversion of a nitro vehicle. Uh, but um, the wheelbase just didn't lend itself to the brushless power. And we were uh, you know, mainly running this on, on 3S, um, but uh, the torque would just make this thing into a wheeling machine. So we shelved it for a while. Uh, this is using the How To RC. Uh, mounting kit. I don't have the, the motor mounted right now, but usually you would just go here. Um, but uh, this was kind of our first foray into, you know, eighth scale, if you want to call it. Uh, some people will call this 10th scale, but um, basically the larger four wheel drive RCs. Uh, we picked up the Revo 3.3 in the back here, and actually it's bring this forward it has a wider stance and also a longer wheelbase uh, this is has been fully stripped we've you know actually we, we converted the transmission to forward only it, it is it was also a, a nitro so forward only means it, it's kind of interesting because a, a nitro motor or engine can only spin one way in one direction Right, so if you, um, if, you know, if you if you stall it and it's it's got to keep running, right? If you if you, um, you know, try to go in reverse or whatnot, or the vehicle is pulled backwards, uh, it would not be good for the the engine. So they have a one way bearing in there. Basically, the bearing can only spin in one direction, um, or only allows uh, spinning in one direction to prevent damage to the the nitro engine. However, in uh, an electric vehicle, you actually want that transmission to be locked. You want it to be able to spin in both directions because that's how you achieve reverse. Long story short, this car doesn't, um, doesn't have the forward only conversion, so you can't go in reverse if, you're, if you hit something or whatnot. It's kind of like a, a, a race RC in that, that manner in which, you know, sometimes uh, people will turn off the reverse, or many times people will turn off the reverse on an electric car because uh, they don't want it going into reverse, right? However, we do for the purposes of our, uh, or, or for this vehicle. So that's one thing that needs to be done to this truck if we were ever, uh, or if we ever wanted to run it again on electric. Um, so what we've been thinking for quite some time was, uh, doing or either doing another conversion, you know, getting rid of this or, um, you know, swapping some of the parts over from this truck over to the, the 3.3. So going from the, the 2.5 to the 3.3 for the longer wheelbase. Uh, and also we've got the, the, the tr transmission prepped and everything. It's just been sitting on the shelf uh, because we have quite a long queue of vehicles to work on here in the garage. Uh, we've got this this beautiful Proline uh, Baja Bug Body, uh, which is for the 3.3, the longer 3.3. You can see if I, I put it on the 2.2, it just goes way over the bumpers. So uh, our good friend David painted this up for us. Awesome job on this. Just, uh, it's, Again, been sitting in the garage waiting for a vehicle to be mounted to. This is actually the same body that we have mounted on our uh, MT, our Thunder Tiger MT3, or sorry, why am I messing up today? MT4 G3. All right, so we'll probably go ahead and just move a lot of these parts over to the 3.3, uh, but just wanted to show you uh, what we've been thinking. This is the only arm apart we have left from our Creighton. We actually just um, just sold that. Uh, it is a battery tray, AR320192. And so 
the the how to RC kit comes with this battery mounting plate, uh, beautifully milled out of aluminum, um, or I don't want to say milled, uh, but uh, manufactured out of an aluminum plate here that bolts in over here onto the chassis, um, and uh, it comes with Velcro straps. The the how to RC conversion kit comes with Velcro straps too, so you can tie it in. The straps go through these cutouts. Um, but, uh, you know, having some, some side, um, you know, having, oops, there's a screw there. Having some ridges here on the, on the side to, to capture that battery would be nice. Um, so we, we, uh, you know, we, we picked up one of these extra Arma battery tray sets. Um, the back screw actually goes very nicely. So the, the, these, uh, the countersunk openings here, the back screw fits in nicely into the rear one we would just need to drill a hole for the front mounting screw and then just use uh, just some three millimeter screws um, and bolts or rather nuts to, to go ahead and mount this up so uh, one of the things we've been considering um, so stay tuned we'll keep you guys posted as we we do this build it's uh, we've gotten a lot of traffic uh, a lot of interest in our nitro conversions, including our T Max, as well as our our uh, our Revo, um, you know we've got easily over uh, probably thirty thousand views combined on those videos. So, uh, and we've gotten a lot of positive comments from you guys uh, asking for more. So we'll keep them coming. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and uh, comment and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.